not that many offline games ever come our way on the Play Store. Because, you know, in order to make money out of these games, one has to make them online and let there be ads. Just like let there be light. Anyway, it's super hard to find these games and we get so, so little every month. With that in mind, however, here's about 20 super fine offline platformers for both your Android and iOS devices released up until this very day. Let's go. First off, here, been out for five years already, but still to this day, the single finest free offline hack and slash action RPG game on the Play Store in literally every single damn element there is. We got for those of you who missed it something called Never Gone. Hell, Never Gone Over Here upon release was actually awarded the best mobile game of the year out of the Eastern region, let alone China. It's a phenomenal game in replay value, content, it's got so many items, so many enemies, not to mention a great story and a damn fine-tuned gameplay. Moving on. Sitting on both platforms for the price of half a dollar, we've got from earlier last year something called My Little Guardian. Uh, this is a story-based puzzle adventure platformer about the life of a ragdoll potato guy finding his way around to find just meaning to his life and story. Great graphics for one that's so small in size, a game takes you less than 200 megabytes of space, literally bug free, and it might as well be just right up there with Bondo Namco's Little Nightmares if it were a little more mystery. Anyway, we're moving on. And number three, from around the same time last year, almost, uh, sitting on the play so with a 4 point, almost a 5 out of 5, I don't know how I missed out on the opportunity to mention this one before, uh, we have Demon Hunter Shadow World, I'd argue the best action RPG hack and slash if it weren't for the first game in the list, platformer if we're talking challenge. This game's not easy at all, it's, it's easy to get the hang of, of your character, and the boss fights are literally mind-blowing. Very rewarding, playable offline and totally free to play as well. Moving on, we've got Piddle Up. This is a, just for a little bit of a shift, a trial and error, physics-based, extreme riding sports. You all know the drill here, it's the type of game that the first 20 minutes, you're getting hang of the physics to tell mind the next few months of your life. It's addicting as hell, got over 40 chapters and some legitimate challenges for your brain and fingers, whatever else. Game's free, playable offline in case you miss it, it's about 250 megabytes in size. <music> At number 5, sitting on the play store with over a million downloads is a hack and slash at its core. Uh, Glory Ages Samurai is over here has been out there for 5 years straight already and still holding a pretty good score for a mainly plain simple hack and slasher. See, there is a reason this one has got a 4.3. Besides the fact that the game is free and playable offline in nature, it is actually a precision based samurai fighting game, like what you mainly need here to enjoy this game for Real is the timing and precision. It's a good game. Moving on, we have if you like car stun games, but you can't really have hands on an offline one. We got a pretty good one lately. In fact, no more than a month ago. Platform style 2 called Car Stunt. 3D. That's just simply the same title that goes for the rest of the Carston games out there identically. Anyway, this game's about 50 megabytes in size, legit in content, addicting if I had to say so myself, and graphically, honestly, it just feels like a console game. Game's got a 4.7 out of 5 already, and it really looks like this. Moving on to number 7, uh, from a few months ago, we have, I have mentioned this one before numerously, a game called 99 Vidas. Well, 
lives. I'd be a fool to not call this one a masterpiece for a free offline game. Whatever you're into, if beat em ups, classics, or online co op games, just like the recently released Shredder's Revenge, 99 Vitas over here has got the whole package. It's really gorgeous in visuals for an 80s inspired 16 bit classic. Huge in content, has more than 10 characters to choose from and over 6 stages to play through for no cost. Take a quick look. If you like ragdoll physics and just silly mobile games in general, I couldn't really recommend you anything else but Milkman Carlson over here more than any other game right now, period. Besides the comedy over here, this game's crisp, smooth, never heard of a bug with this one, it's totally playable offline, got a story mode, it's actually got a story mode, arena mode, really challenging for a touchscreen game and really, really addicting. With freaking boss battles, see what I mean? And one more thing is actually made by the same guy who originally came up with the PC game Crab Game, which is an idea of a game made off of the Squid Game. Anyway, take a look. Moving on to number 9, a quick reminder over here since I thought personally this one's coming at least a few months in the future, we've got here finally a game called Endling Extinction is Forever, downloaded barely a thousand times already because it's about $10, so yeah. I'm not gonna lie, this game is story-wise something else. If you're into drama, you're like, like emotional journey is mostly Anapa and Interactive games. Endling over here has got all of that. It's actually playable offline with a controller. Like I said, the only problem with it is that it takes you about $10 and you will be, it will be a while before you get bored with this one, like at least a few playthroughs if you haven't seen it yet. A near perfect PC to mobile port out here, one of the most fast paced action shooters of all time, literally. If you haven't played my friend Pedro Rise for Reeve over here, this is a friendly reminder. This game is downloaded over 5 million times on the Play Store already, both platforms in fact, and taking you down about 100 megabytes in storage. Games playable offline, a fade, a $3 game, so give it a few minutes if you like it. There's a free version of this one, and there's a premium version for this one, and uh, if you didn't like the ads, you want to play the game offline. Use the link down in the description. Sitting on the Play Store since last month, a uh, quick mention over here, we've got Shredder's Revenge, available exclusively for Netflix members, taking you down about 1 gigabytes of storage. Shredder's Revenge is actually playable both offline and online, in my opinion, the online multiplayer section is divine, but it's a single player and multiplayer game, simultaneously it runs perfect with any controller, joysticks, and even great with touch screenplay. In any case, it's a great game, a 10 out of 10. Has some minor bugs, I've heard, but nothing you wouldn't really want to keep in mind. Give it up, Shredder. It's over. I will get my revenge. At number 12, sitting on the Play Store with about a thousand downloads only since last week. Actually, first of its developers' work, we have a game called bloody fight. It's so underrated that it ain't even rated yet on the Google Play, and to be fair, it's nothing short of a classic beat-em-up. I mean, it's not Streets of Rage 4, the sequel, but if you couldn't really afford the $10 price for that game, well, considering there is a world of difference between the two, this game's free, it's playable offline, and it's really good. Been out there for almost a year now. At number 13, we have, for those of you who missed it, Banana Kong 2. I would confidently say the best thing that happened July last year. Banana Kong was originally a masterpiece of a mobile game, a free game. And the sequel over here took that great formula and multiplied it by at least 5 if not 10. The game's graphically truly incredible and the gameplay pace is just perfect. Even has a little bit of a story arc and the music is to die for. Give it a shot.
One of the greatest offline action hacking slashers that came out last couple of years ago actually goes here goes by the name Other Worlds Legends. A free to play masterpiece of a pixel art, specifically if you went to dungeon crawling RPGs, this game has mastered every bit of elements that the classics had to offer. For a PC to mobile port, this is translated to literal perfection. Not just that, the game itself is huge with really cool soundtracks and a nice variety in characters, their fighting styles, enemies, items, and all of it. With over 5,000 downloads, sitting on the Play Store as a free game since last year. We have Pyramid's Quest, which is an exploration-based treasure hunting platform classic. I'd like to think the perfect mix of the Quack Show and the Mario games from the Sega Genesis era, made into the 3D modern day visuals. Perfect game to pick up and play for free, it's quite generous in content. You get a decent amount of unlockables north of 10 hours of replay value for literally no more than only 100 megabytes of storage. Sitting on the Play Store, finally, since roughly two days ago, we've got over here now the PC game initially called My Memory of Us here, a free-to-play story-driven side-scrolling adventure in nature. Now, what's really interesting about this game overall is that it offers just about the most heartbreaking story drama that there is out there on the, the Play Store. Why? It's a World War II, but from the eyes of children, which is honestly just as heartbreaking as I just said. Check it out if you could, bear the pain, the game is, I'm not sure if fully playable offline, but definitely worth a try. Available on both platforms since December last year. I'm pretty sure you've heard or saw a glimpse of this one before. We've got a number 17 hack. You won't have to buy this game anymore if you don't want to. There is a trick though. Uh, see, this game's got an ad version, which is playable only online, but another version of it that I've included down in the description is playable offline only through the first chapter. If you do like what you see throughout the game though, you can buy this one for about $2. It's really worth it. Coming up behind you that, not a platformer entirely, but might as well be a damn fine top-down brawler platform style offline game from roughly 8 years ago, still one of the best to this day, a game called Implosion, Never Lose Hope. This is a formerly pay-to-play game, but now it's actually totally free, ARPG, from developers who are actually good at it. If you like Diablo, but also hack and slashers and something you can play it offline with some diesel punk aesthetics, well, this is the number one game I'd recommend. There's one problem though, this game takes you down about 1 gigabyte of space. Sure it's been a dream of mine at some point, maybe yours I would, I would imagine, what you'd get by mixing the local Roco PSP game, I can't really be the only one that ever played that game, and mix that with a little bit of Super Meat Boy. What I'm talking about, you mix two amazing platformers together and what the result will be what we have here, Wobble Journey. Uh, guys, Wobble Journey is also an action adventure, physics or obstacle based platform, it's free, taking you down about 80 megabytes of space and playable both online and offline. <laughs> It's been out there for 7 years and still getting updates every single month. As an offline, free to play platformer at number 20, we have Lost Miner. This is actually one of the most engaging, challenging pixel based 2D, 3D Minecraft style farming, mining, crafting games and probably the perfect combination of Terraria with Minecraft, if we're talking formula. It's got great music, games huge in scale, has controller support, I'm not sure, and it only takes you down about 20 megabytes in space. One last mention before we call it a day over here guys, if you like cyberpunk style retro games classics, uh, we have a, from a few months ago something called Sentry City, which is just a old version of the upcoming game replaced. This is a side scrolling action reaction based shooter with puzzle and adventure elements. Here's a trailer, it was not free, takes you down about 6 bucks and totally playable offline. Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> 